Hello, internet. You can call me Alec, and welcome to Character Discussion. <clears throat> Today's episode is a little different. We're not talking about one specific character. Instead, we're talking about an entire species. What species? The adorable Inklings. Yeah. Why am I talking about Inklings? Because Splatoon is one of my all-time favorite games. So, I mean, eventually I wanted to talk about them. So, here we go. Now, what is Inklings? Inklings are half kid, half squid. They have a human-like body with hair that's made out of tentacles. And they can turn into a little squid and swim around. And eat. They all have a specific color of hair. And that specific color chooses their color pink. And they usually have this four-on-four -four competition called a turf war, where the object of the game is to cover the area in as much of your team's ink as possible. Sometimes they have a big contest known as Splatfest, which has a random random theme and teams. There are typically Inklings don't have a name because most Inklings are just a character you make or characters that players online make. But there is a few actual official canon characters that will appear throughout the series, such as Kaylee, Kali, Kaylee, I don't know how to pronounce her name, and Marie, the Squid Sisters, and Pearl and Marina, who are Octolings, which they will get their own video later. <clears throat> Now, there is another Inkling character named Captain, but I don't know how important Captain is. Well, he played a big part in two, in one, but I don't know if, she's in, if he actually played a big part in high series. Inklings come in a variety of colors. Usually, the two most iconic colors is orange, which is an specifically inkling girl, and blue, which is specifically an inkling, inkling boy. There could be orange haired boys and blue haired girls, I think. But orange inkling girl and blue or inkling boy were used for mostly at most of the promotion, promotional stuff, so. I personally prefer the orange Inkling girl. She was the main one. They were just appetizing and she's just so fucking adorable. I just wanna give her head pass. And, yeah. So. How do they store the ink? They have a tank on their back. It's like a backpack. What do they use to spray the ink with? Well, they have a bunch of different guns and other weapons they use to spray the ink. Sometimes it's not even spraying. Sometimes you 
just rolling the paint everywhere. Does the game have any story? Yes, there is a one player offline story mode. The two games have two totally different story modes, so I can't really say the specific theme of the story mode. Is there any other offline thing? No. It's mostly an online game. I mean, maybe you can do some local 2v2s and stuff like that, but other than that, it's mostly online. You want the meat and the potatoes of the game, you gotta be online. Do you pick your color? Yes, pretty sure. You get to pick your color. It changes in story mode. If you die, when you, when you respawn, you'll have a different color. And in the Turf War, your color will change to be whatever team's your main color. But when you're just in the lobby or doing 2v2, you do get to use your own special on the list of colors you can pick. So, have they appeared in anything other than Splatoon? Yes, they appear in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate as a playable character, and in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe as a playable character. Yes. Uh, they don't have any comics or manga or animes like most of the other older Nintendo stuff, unfortunately. Will they appear in more games? I hope so. Will they get more games? They <laughs> already have three. I'm pretty sure they're going to keep going. What is the purpose in life? To just chill and have her form and have fun. Where do they live? They live in Incopolis. Beautiful place. Very urban. <laughs> uh, what is the backstory? Well, the backstory is pretty fucking dark, so prepare yourself. This is happening thousands of years in the future. Humanity has been wiped out by a giant flood. So all humans, most humans are dead. The ones who survive, over time, a new, these, <clears throat> The squids and octopuses began to evolve and come to land. And they became inklings and octolings. And thus the civilization of inklings and octolings were born. And that is the story of Splatoon and the inklings. Yeah. Why does a such a bright, colorful, happy game have such a dark past? I don't know. I don't know. It just does. The music is amazing. Unfortunately, you really can't understand it because all the characters, even when they're singing, speak in a special language made just for the series called English. So, there's no way of knowing what anyone is actually saying unless. 
However, most of the time, when an important character is speaking, there will be a text box with what they are saying in the text box. So, but when they're singing, or when you're just messing around in Splatfest or whatever, there is no text box. So, while your inkling is running around going, making inkling noises, you have no idea what they're saying. It's still fun as hell, even if you don't understand what they're saying. Do I recommend it? Yes. I highly recommend you play the game. What is my thoughts on this? Well, we are absolutely fucking adorable. I just want to give them head pats and, I don't know, some ice cream or soda or whatever the fuck they like. <laughs> and, <clears throat> and that will be all for today's episode. This is a little bit shorter than normal, but, eh, sorry. Thank you all for watching. Make sure to have a wonderful day, and like and subscribe. And I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.